Hi everybody, I'm Sherry from the library and this month's uh, edition of Sharing Stories, I have books about great holidays that are coming up and some new books and some old favorites. So first I wanna talk about Diwali, it's the Indian Festival of Light and people around the world are beginning to celebrate and enjoy Diwali traditions. We have storybooks about Diwali and we have books about the holiday itself so that you can learn all about where it comes from and different ways to celebrate with your family. We also have Thanksgiving coming up and my all time favorite Thanksgiving book is, thank you, Sarah. So what I found out from this book, and if I haven't read it to you yet, I may soon. Thank you, Sarah is all about the woman who eventually, or essentially saved Thanksgiving. Uh, it was an idea that came up and then she began a letter writing campaign to the president, in addition to a lot of other things that Sarah did with her mighty pen, including write the song Mary Had a Little Lamb and write other books and stories in an age where women didn't published very much. She was an amazing author, but she continued for years to talk to the presidents of the United States one after another about the importance of having a day where everybody in the country gives thanks and appreciates what they have. So thank you, Sarah, is a fantastic Thanksgiving book. We also celebrate uh, Native American Heritage Month this month in November. Some of the books that uh, I love the most about Native American stories are here on the table, but there are some brand new ones I wanted to point out. Just Like Grandma is about a little girl named Becca who watches her grandma bake traditional Native American foods and feed in uh, traditional ways. And more than anything, she wants to be just like grandma and learn all her ways. Also, I want to mention uh, Stolen Words, this is about kids who were taken to uh, schools and were told that they could only speak English and were told they had to forget their native language. And this is a book about some of those words and what their experiences were like. I also have been uh, reading a lot and seeing a lot about Jim Thorpe. Some people consider Jim Thorpe, who is a Native American, to be the greatest American athlete of all time. He was a gold medal Olympic winner, he had a baseball career, uh, and he was an all-around spokesperson for American athletics for a long time. Phenomenal athlete, so you might want to read about Jim. And then I also wanted to mention um, a couple of new books this is Give. We talk about Thanksgiving, about being grateful, but this is about giving to others, about a friend who sees that someone needs something and they can give it. And then that friend gives to someone else, and that friend gives to someone else, and it's a beautiful story. The picture on the back says, sometimes we get cold, so give warmth. It's about giving what people need. This is Stay Wild, My Child. If there's any wild children out there who are a little too noisy, a little too rowdy, a little too much all the time, this is about a mom who loves her wild child. So even though sometimes she has to be quiet or careful or watch where she puts things, her mother always gives her a chance to stay wild. And my favorite brand new book is How to Make a Peanut Butter Sandwich in 17 Easy Steps. Now you're going to say it doesn't take that much, but you forgot that you need an accordion and a donkey and four clogs and a skunk. It's all explained in here. It'll tell you exactly what to do. You're going to be hungry when you finish. I also want to mention The City. Uh, this is just one of my all-time favorite books, so I pulled it out today to show you. It's a huge picture book that has amazing art about things that you see in the city on an amazing journey when you travel around. It's fun just to look at, and it's one of the examples of the great things at the library that you might never know about until you come and you look around for yourself. I hope you find something you love to read this month. Bye.